What are the 10 most frequently asked questions about Catherine of Aragon? Well, I'm going to tell you. Hi, I thought it would be interesting to find out what the 10 most popular frequently asked questions that people search for online about Catherine of Aragon are and to answer them. Obviously, the Tudor history nuts among you will know the answers, but I hope that these answers are helpful for the newbies among you. Number one, why did Henry VIII divorce Catherine of Aragon? Henry VIII sought to annul his marriage to his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, basically because she'd not produced a surviving male heir, which he saw as crucial for the security of the Tudor dynasty. She'd been pregnant at least six times between 1509 and 1518, but these pregnancies had resulted in four stillbirths, a son, Henry Duke of Cornwall, who died when he was 52 days old, and a daughter, Mary. Henry VIII had come to believe that God had not blessed the marriage because it was contrary to God's law, as Catherine had been married to his brother Arthur before, and therefore the Pope should never have given a dispensation for Henry to marry her. When the Pope refused to grant an annulment, Henry eventually initiated the English Reformation, breaking with the Catholic Church and making himself supreme head of the Church in England in order to secure the annulment. By the way, although we'd call it an annulment today, it was also referred to as a divorce by contemporary sources. Number two, how long was Catherine of Aragon married to Henry VIII? Well, Catherine and Henry got married in June 1509 and their marriage was officially annulled in May 1533, so nearly 24 years. Although the king applied for a dispensation to marry Anne Boleyn in the summer of 1527. Number three, did Catherine of Aragon have any children? As I said, Catherine had several pregnancies, but only one child survived infancy, her daughter Mary. Mary became queen in July 1553, becoming Mary I and she reigned until her death in November 1558. Number four, what happened to Catherine of Aragon after the divorce? After the annulment of her marriage to the king, Catherine was stripped of her title as queen and demoted to Princess Dowager of Wales, a reference to her previous marriage to Henry's brother, Arthur Tudor, Prince of Wales. She'd already been banished from court and sent to live in increasingly isolated and modest conditions with an ever-decreasing household. She was also separated from her beloved daughter, Mary. Despite the annulment and her demotion, Catherine did not recognise the annulment or her new title, refusing to acknowledge Henry's new marriage to Anne Boleyn and calling herself queen to the very end. Number five. Was Catherine of Aragon really married to Henry VIII's brother? Well, yes. Catherine was first married to Prince Arthur, Henry VIII's older brother, marrying him at Old St Paul's Cathedral in London on the 14th of November 1501. Arthur died a few months later, on the 2nd of April 1502, and Catherine claimed later that their marriage was never consummated. This claim became crucial in the debate over the validity of her marriage to Henry when he was looking to annul the marriage. Number six, how old was Catherine of Aragon when she married Henry VIII? Catherine was 23 years old when she married Henry VIII in June 1509. She was born in December 1485. Henry was just a few days away from his 18th birthday at their marriage. Number seven, what was Catherine of Aragon's relationship with Anne Boleyn? Well, it's not known what their relationship was like when Anne first served the Queen as her maid of honour after Anne's return from France in late 1521 or early 1522, but the relationship obviously broke down after the King made it clear he wanted to set Catherine aside and marry Anne. 
Catherine viewed Anne as the cause of her marital breakdown, referring to her as the great scandal of Christendom, while Anne saw Catherine as an obstacle to her own ambitions to becoming queen. So they started off as mistress and servant, and then, of course, were sort of fighting over the same man. Number eight. Did Catherine of Aragon ever become Queen of England? Yes. Catherine was Queen of England from 1509 to 1533 as Henry VIII's first wife. She was a queen consort, though. That is to say, the spouse of the reigning monarch, rather than a queen regnant, a reigning queen. Catherine was a popular queen known for her piety, charity and intelligence. She also served as regent while Henry was at war in France in 1513, being in charge of the country when the English forces beat the Scots at the Battle of Flodden, a battle in which her brother-in-law, King James IV of Scotland, was killed. Catherine was so pleased and proud of the victory that she wanted to send James's body to Henry VIII in France, but was persuaded to send his bloodied coat instead. Much easier. Number nine. What were Catherine of Aragon's last words? Well, despite the cruel treatment that she'd received from the king, in her dying days in January 1536, Catherine still viewed him as her husband. She loved him and she was worried about the fate of his soul. She is said to have written this final letter to him and I'll read it now. My most dear Lord, King and Husband, the hour of my death now drawing on, the tender love I owe you forceth me, my case being such, to commend myself to you and to put you in remembrance with a few words of the health and safeguard of your soul, which you ought to prefer before all worldly matters and before the care and pampering of your body, for the which you have cast me into many calamities and yourself into many troubles. For my part, I pardon you everything, and I wish to devoutly pray to God that he will pardon you also. For the rest, I commend unto you our daughter Mary, beseeching you to be a good father unto her, as I have heretofore desired. I entreat you also on behalf of my maids to give them marriage portions, which is not much, they being but three. For all my other servants, I solicit the wages due to them, and a year or more, lest they be unprovided for. Lastly, I make this vow, that mine eyes desire you above all things. This letter is surrounded by controversy because the original is lost and we only have alleged transcripts of it in works such as Polydor Virgil's Anglica Historia, which were then copied by later writers such as Lord Herbert of Cherbury. However, it rings true with what we know of Catherine and her feelings towards Henry. So I think it's authentic. So of course those are her last words to Henry VIII sent in a letter, but of course we don't know what her actual last words to her dying words. Number 10, final one. How did Catherine of Aragon die? Catherine died on the 7th of January 1536 at Kimbleton Castle. She'd been ill for a few months, but felt worse after drinking a draught of Welsh beer in December 1535. And this, combined with the embalmer's report that all of her organs were healthy apart from her heart, which was quite black and hideous to look at, gave rise to rumours that Catherine had been poisoned. However, the embalmer, who Giles Tremlett, who wrote a biography of Catherine of Aragon, points out, was a chandler, a candle maker, which was actually quite normal for those times, and not a medical expert. And he also found a black body attached to Catherine's heart. And Tremlett concludes that a secondary melanotic sarcoma was almost certainly to blame. So a secondary heart tumour caused by cancer in another part of the body. So cancer is the probable cause. Now, I do hope you've enjoyed these questions, these frequently asked questions and their answers on Catherine of Aragon, Henry VIII's first wife. Do you ever see people asking questions about her online? And if so, what? Please do share. I'd love to know what questions about Catherine you've come across. And of course, if you've liked this video, don't forget to give me a like 
And of course you can subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified as my videos go live. Thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.